huge, bigger than ever before. Mega Millions has reached its highest point yet, $1 billion and counting. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us live now. Kyle, have we seen the peak of the lottery? Well, actually, it's possible that it could be increased a little bit later today. However, they won't announce that. It's just if someone wins tonight, they're going to be getting a pot that's a lot larger than a billion dollars. You going to play it? It's. You want to. <laughs> yeah, I see it. You're like, mm. A big one. Well, I thought maybe. Why not? One billion and counting. Oh it's a billion dollars. This is the largest jackpot for the Mega Millions lottery ever, and people want in. I'd buy... A house in California, a house in Nashville, and a house in New York, an apartment in New York City. I'd probably give some of it to, to charity and stuff, you know, because um, that'd be more than I'd ever want to spend. This woman says she knows a person who won a million dollars, but it didn't end well. They said they wish they had not won because of the headaches, the tax issues they dealt with uh, and I just told him I said as much junk mail as I get I'd get quadruple and I don't think your life would ever be the same. But the whole point of the lottery isn't just to make someone rich it's to raise money for education. We've raised 4.7 billion dollars with a B for education. Over 1.3 million students have benefited from the scholarships and grants that we fund. Dozens of after-school programs, grants, about 40 cents on the dollar goes towards education, according to Rebecca Hargrove, president of the Tennessee Lottery. So I got one of each, so I'm going to go ahead and win uh, both here. The <laughs> right, yeah, the uh, Powerball and the Mega Million. Oh yeah, and the Powerball is kind of high. It's getting close to $500 million. Yeah, so if you're just now watching this story and you're like, wait, I didn't know that it was a billion dollars. I need to get out there and buy a ticket. You have until 9.45 tonight. The drawing is at 10 o'clock tonight, and they close down uh, accepting those lottery tickets about 15 minutes before. Reporting live in Nashville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thank you, Kyle.